I decided to do a little trip to San Mateo today, a little driving with Don. Actually, I think I'm going to start calling this series Driving Monta. Did a little trip to San Mateo, which is the first little beach city that's just south of Monta here. It's not much of a town, but it's got a pretty good sized beach there. I've not been out on that beach. I don't know if it's even worth going there, but apparently I think more people go there to go to Silver Island, which is the beer joint at the very end of the beach. And as you can see from the video coming up, there's a pretty good crowd there. And that was even before noon, there was a pretty good crowd there. So but anyway, I took a little drive out there and just thought I'd take the camera along with me and share it with you. I did a little aerial footage with the drone so you could see the, the skyline, the beach and so forth in the little town. And I don't know that you're going to be all that impressed with it, but anyway, it's, I did it for you, okay? So here it is. Here, enjoy. The video ends pretty abruptly. I, I, again, I have a problem with my GoPro overheating, so but where it ended was a good time for it to end because I was just on the way back home anyway. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't going to tape it for you. So, so that's it. So enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Today I'm going to San Mateo Beach. This is Friday. It's good Friday. I'm going to go down there and do some, uh, aerial footage. Here's a map that shows the route that I'm taking. I'm actually going to stop and have breakfast on the way at Del Hermoso and La Cuadra, my other favorite spot. And I hope you enjoy. I think I've showed you this street before. This is Flavio Reyes. And I'm going west on Flavio Reyes. Going to be going down through Restaurant Row toward the Wyndham, the Mykonos, the Poseidon, Riva de Mighty. Not much traffic out this morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning right now. A little after 8. Probably because of Good Friday. Probably a lot of stuff is closed today. Tomorrow is going to be party central from my understanding. They've got stages set up down on the beach. They're going to be probably be live music tomorrow night or who knows. But probably be just one night and then of course Sunday is Easter Sunday. Another so it's a three day holiday weekend. Portal del Sol that I just went by here. That's where all those million dollar homes are. There's not very many of them in there. There's the Wyndham. And of course, Riva Damati, you can see it up there. Club. 
up here on the right. Of course, you, didn't, you can't see it, but I just went by it. I'll point it out on the map here. Well, it looks like they are open, so they're good for Ray. So I'm in here at the quadrant. I will be back as soon as I eat. Ciao, ciao. Okay, I'm back. I'm trying to get out of the parking lot here. Sometimes it's a major accomplishment getting out of the parking lot. Breakfast was good. The Americano, which is never bad. I always get it with three eggs. Can't believe that taxi actually waited. Very nice of you. <coughs> so, so here's the route that I'm taking. Just a continuation of the previous route I showed you. speed bump <laughs> they don't put any markings down to show the speed bumps so you kind of you know they sneak up on you and you eventually learn where they are they have speed bumps in a lot of places they have them out on the open highway between here and Wack Hill on the way to Puerto Viejo when you leave Monte Cristi and go toward Port of Viejo, they have speed bumps up there in the highway, just out in the highway, mainly going into the towns. I notice there's a lot of butterflies flying around lately here too. You probably see them in the, in the video here, maybe, I don't know, little tiny white ones. I had one sitting outside my apartment the other day on the wall, right outside by my front door and I went rushing back inside to get my camera with the macro lens on it so I could take a real close-up picture of it and when I got outside it was gone it must have been camera shy so this is the road that Stella was saying the other day is Via San Mateo. Via San Mateo. So it's the route going out to San Mateo. stop sign that nobody stops at. Hi. It's gone. Oh, it looks a little rainy up ahead. So the speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. <laughs> I don't see how that's going to work. Somebody asked me the other day how fast I was driving. Of course, my speedometer here is only kilometers, so uh, right now I'm doing 70 kilometers per hour going up hill. Coming down, I was doing 80. Now, that's not very fast when you convert it to miles per hour. Definitely looks like rainy weather off to the west which is the direction we're headed but it's a long ways away I can't imagine this coming here and here's this Chris is going to walk out across the highway what's the matter with you he gets off the bus on this highway here and now she's walking across okay she's 
your business, your life. Cloudscapes on the horizon. I hope that's not coming this way. We had rain yesterday. We've had enough rain, folks. I guess. I don't know how much is enough, but we haven't had enough for it to dry out, you know. right here that sneaks up on you. If somebody wants to cross here, then the light will change to red. There's a cross here, like a bike path here. See, there's still water standing on the road there, right there. So, it'd be nice if we can go like a week without any rain. And get some sun. Dry things up around here. down to the beach here I'm gonna do some <clears throat> GoPro I mean uh, well some more GoPro footage but I'm also going to take my drone up and give you an aerial view I'll go up 400 feet and give you a good view of San Mateo and the coastline and the beach and all that good stuff there's some hot pink shorts boy that's some hot pink not shorts but pants, what do you call them, yoga pants. tide right now I think I think it's low tide I've seen the water all the way up over here so <clears throat> that's where you, that's where it maxes out that's my estimate would be high tide so I'd say we're down it's low tide this heating problem on my GoPro and I don't know if it makes any difference maybe somebody can answer this for me but I'm recording in 4k and I just wonder <clears throat> if that has anything to do with why it's heating up so much I wonder if I would just be better off just to record in just regular HD 1080 high definition if anybody knows the answer to that Leave it in the comment section, please. I know there's lots of gurus out there that know this stuff better than me. <clears throat> My specialty is computers and IT related stuff. Not, <clears throat> not video equipment. I'm still pretty wet behind the ears. This truck is probably going exactly where I'm going. Watch out, buddy. I hope. 
hope it's not too muddy. It looks like it might be a little muddy. But jeez. Uh, well maybe I can go on. Alright, I'm gonna go around this guy. If I don't fall off in a hole somewhere. That's what it looks like. Well, I'm glad I didn't wash my car because I'm gonna drive right through this mud. <clears throat> Here's that boat that's parked on here. I came out here and flew my drone around at one time and the guy came out and didn't like that because they sell tours of it. I'll go down here toward the end. <clears throat> they got all these little shops here, vendors. Pretty popular club right down here at the ends, owned by a Canadian lady, I believe. Called the Silver Island. Looks like they've got a pretty good crowd already. So I'll see if I can find a place where I can park. And of course they got some music playing, so I gotta be careful about that. Because of copyright stuff. Alright, I wanna go down here. So here we are at San Mateo Beach. <coughs> I'll go down. Here. GoPro stop recording.
right, let's get out of here. between these boats, I think it takes it right into town. All these boats are probably out at night fishing. And then how they get them up here, all the way up here from the water, of course the water is probably high tide when they go out, maybe, I don't know how they do that. Here's a Jeep with a trailer, he probably brings a bunch of them up. several trailers. You had to kind of go through the town here to get out. I would take some pictures of that boat but they don't like you to do that because they sell tours. And I got ran off once before so I respect their their right. That's their business model. That's how they make their money. You know. the way you get out of San Mateo. Drive through the town. Just a tiny little town with a beach. Tiny little town with a big beach. So this is San Mateo Beach. I don't know if I can get away with this with this music in the background. It's Probably copyrighted music, but I don't know. But anyway, there's not much to see here. I'm not actually down on the beach. I don't know that there's really even anything to talk about here. But anyway, that's San Mateo Beach. So that's it. That's San Mateo. That's the ride to San Mateo from my place here close to the mall. I went down through, as you can see, I went down through Restaurant Row, down by La Quadra. That's where I stopped and had breakfast. Out to Via Mateo, the road that Stella named the other day. And on down to San Mateo. It takes about 10 minutes from my place to, to our, actually it's probably a good 15, 20 minute ride from my place to there. You can take a bus down there for pennies, <laughs> you know. Don't take a taxi down there, it costs you too much. So but anyway, that was it. I hope you liked that. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Ciao, ciao.